in a previous InDesign demo, I showed you how to do auto page numbering. So what that does is just number your document according to the numbers on the pages panel from one to 100. But let's say you create a multi-page document and you wanna divide it up into sections. You want section one to be page one through 10, and then section two to have its own numbering system, like one to eight, and then section three to have its own numbering system from one to 12. You can divide up a book or a multi-page document into sections. So you can renumber your pages over and over. So I'm gonna to go to open, and in chapter 10, finishing jobs, I'm gonna open up folder one and I'm gonna open up this uh, file, page section numbering. Okay, so what I have here is a multi, multi, multi page document here. Okay, this would be the front cover, the inside of the front cover, our title page, I would have our legal copy page, like the publisher and all that, our table of contents. I'd start off with a blank page, and then I'd start off with section one. Section one would be a few pages, then I have section two. That would be a few more pages, and section three, section four, section five. And I want each section to have its own numbering system, okay? If I go to A master and I double click, I'm gonna set up my page numbering, my auto page numbering. So again, you take your type tool, click and drag a text frame, make it a decent size. And then I go to type menu, insert special character. The special character is a marker and that's gonna mark off the current page number. Now again, since I'm on the A master, it's gonna say A, it's not gonna have a number to it. So I'm gonna increase the font size here, just so we can see that. We'll go 36 right there. And I'm gonna take my black arrow, hit my down arrow key just to nudge that number down into the corner right there. I'm gonna hold shift and option and we'll slide a copy across. I'll just kind of bump the edge of my InDesign file there. We'll put it right there. Okay, I want my number to be in the upper right corner. So I'm gonna click once on my type tool. That gives me my text alignment buttons and I'll click the third one, align right. So now, with my black arrow, I can randomly select a page down here. Let's pick uh, 27, and I'm on page 27. Okay, if I hit W, you can see that this is going to number it from page 1 all the way down consecutively. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And you can see this is topic section three. I want that to start off as page one. Page one of that section. There's topic section four. I want that to start as its own. Page one of section four. Page one of section five. Well, auto page numbering is not going to do that. It's just going to number according to these numbers on my pages panel. So what I can do is scroll back up through my document here. And I want, let's see, I want my title page to start as its own page one. This is like a cover. This is the inside of the front cover. The title page will be page one. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. And if it doesn't select page three only, I'm just gonna click another page and then click on page three like that. Then I'll pull this out so you can see it. I'm gonna to go to the pop-up on the pages panel and say numbering and section options. So let's see what this does. I want this current page that I've selected, page three, to start page numbering at one. And that's it. 
I'm going to click OK, click OK, and look at that. I have page one, page two, now page one again. Page two, page three, page four. Okay, topic section one. That should be the first page of section one. So I'm going to click there. And again, I'm going to have to do this manually. If it keeps selecting the spread, I just click down here and then come back and click on one page, page five. And I'll do it again. Numbering and section options. Start that one. Start a brand new section and start that one at page one. OK, OK. So topic section one starts on page one. Page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. Topic section two should start at its own page one. So that is actually page seven down here. So we'll click right there. And let's do it again. Numbering and section options. Start a brand new section at its own page one. OK, OK. So now let's see. There's topic section one. Topic section two has its own page one. All right, topic section three. Let's click on it. Click down below and then click on page nine. And we'll keep doing this. Numbering and section options. Start a new section at its own page one. Topic section three starts at one. I think you get the idea now. We'll do it one more time. I'm not going to run through the whole document. I think you get the idea. Click. Now the pages panel jumps down there. Again, I'm going to see what happens if I just start with two pages instead of constantly clicking down below and then coming back up. Let's just see what it does when InDesign selects a spread. Click. Numbering and section options. Start at page one. No. Don't want that. That's not what I was trying to do. Edit. Undo. So again, don't start with a spread. I'm going to click down below, then manually select page 9 right here. Numbering and section options. Start that section at page 1. And there we go. Okay, so don't trust what's happening here. Do it manually. Click. You don't want the spread. Just click down below and then manually click the page you intend to work on. Numbering and section options. And these don't all have to start with numbers by any means. I can start section a brand new section starting on page one, or I can include the style. I could do that as A. So let's try that. This section will be section A, B, C, D. There we go. Section five is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's try another one. Topic section six. Click down below, then click here. And let's do one more. Numbering and section options. Start it on a brand new page one or beginning page. It's not going to number it one because I'm going to pick a different style. So you see this sometimes on like the prefix of a book or the, the legal copy at the beginning of a book. They do kind of Roman numerals here. And I'll click OK. And there we go. One, two, three Roman numerals. OK. Um, I'm going to come back up here. And let's see the difference here. I'm going to click here. Click down below, then click again. And actually, I want topic section one. There we go. Click right there for this page. And let's see the difference if I go to numbering and section options. Start num page numbering at one, but I'm going to come down here. Document chapter numbering. I don't know. Let's see. Start chapter number at one. And let's go 001, 002, 003. Let's see. Well, that didn't do it because I didn't divide this document up into chapter sections. That's a totally different issue by combining multiple book sections in InDesign. So this was a topic about page sections, 
chapter is a totally different issue. Um, I don't have a demo on that because I've never divided a book up that way. I've just done it in sections. But there you go, page sections, numbering and section options, start a section, start with page one. I didn't do chapters, so we're doing section numbers. And that's how you deal with renumbering pages or sections over and over here in InDesign.